less than 24 hours away from a rare celestial event right here in the U.S. Parts of the country will be shrouded in darkness when the moon crosses in front of the sun to create a total solar eclipse. And Action News is in the path of totality. Meteorologist Adam Joseph joins us live from Bolton Landing, New York with a preview. Hey, Adam. Sir, it is a beautiful day here with Lake George in the backdrop and you can see a little bit of snow left over in the tallest of the mountains and yes, there's still snow on the ground here, but not looking at the ground, not looking at snow come tomorrow. All eyes will be in the sky to take a look at the Super Bowl of celestial events. We packed up very early this morning, hit the road and we're going to bring you along that journey with a lot of excitement. We hit the road early along with many others heading north. We've been waiting nearly seven years for this celestial event. In hindsight, that seems long, but reality says otherwise. The United States has only witnessed a solar eclipse five times since 1951. That makes tomorrow very special. I was in South Carolina for uh, the totality of 2017. Okay. And it made such a big impression on me, that's when I started planning. Compared to 2017, the path of totality will be 60% wider. The duration of the eclipse, 60% longer. Nearly 19 million more people live in the totality path. And the Institute of Transportation Engineers says over 5 million people will travel to see totality. Bolton Landing, New York is a sleepy town this time of year, but not today. We actually understaffed for it, and we luckily have great staff that came in to help out. Running out of three out of the 15 items that we have, and we honestly they might run out of more. Tate, originally from Wilmington and went to school at Ursinus, is getting his steps in at the Bolton Landing Brewing Company, serving up some fresh brews and bites. <laughs> Down the road at the Sagamore, a watch party has a million dollar view of the mountains and Lake George. Travelers like us need to respect the atmosphere. There is no insurance on what the sky cover will be during the minutes the moon covers the sun. Basically, I'm going to go to Montreal and then drive as far east as uh, it is necessary for the clouds to clear. Clouds are clear skies. Those in the totality can expect the breeze to dissipate. Birds stop chirping. Temps drop 10 to 15 degrees and Venus and Jupiter will show up. All right, and Bolton Landing is right on the edge of totality. So here they're expecting 98.8% of the sun to be covered, which means you won't have that full darkness. So tomorrow morning, we're going to pack it up. We're going to drive an hour and a half north to Plattsburgh, where they're right in the middle of the path of totality. And coming up tonight at 11, we'll explain a little more of how long we're going to see totality there tomorrow and why back in 2017, when I went on assignment in Missouri, that we just about missed it because of Mother Nature. We'll see you guys tonight at 11 o'clock. But live for now, we're in Bolton Landing, New York. Beautiful day, Walter. Looks great. Up here in upstate New York. Yeah. Can't wait. All right, thank you, Adam.